Hi, guys. Hi, Hi teacher. teacher. How are you? Fine. Fine. Thank you. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, it's good to see every, but well, it's good to see many of you. Um, I can I can only, but I can only see like two of you because Nelson, I don't know if he's there and the rest of you, um, I can't see you are hiding. <laughs> so, oh, there she is. Okay. Hello, Tatiana. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm pretty good, teacher. All right. And you, how are you? Good. Um, a bit tired, but good. Yeah. <laughs> but everything is okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, everything is okay. Yeah, that's the important thing. Yes. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to take out the attendance. So if you guys can do me the favor of opening your camera so we can see your beautiful faces and we can, we can write down that, yes, you were here in class. Okay, are we ready? I see some of you, I, I see the majority of you now, but I don't see all of you. So, okay, let's start. Ani? Good evening, teacher. Mm, good evening. Good evening, Jorge. Okay, um, Ani? No? Okay, uh, Ana Maria. Hey, Carolina. Present. Welcome, Carolina. Thank Emily. You, You're welcome. Emily. Present. Welcome, Emily. Present. Hazel. Hazel. Joanna. Joanna. Jorge. Present teacher. Welcome, Jorge. Karina. Present. Welcome, Karina. Carla. Present teacher. Welcome, Carla. Kevin. All right. Uh, Linda. Linda. Marlene. Marlene. Nelson. Present teacher. Welcome, Nelson. Norma. Thank you. Norma. Olga. Olga. Present teacher. Present. Welcome, Olga. Hey, Miguel. Miguel. No, Miguel. Eh, Rocío. Rocío. No, Rocío. Uh, Beatriz. Present teacher. Welcome, Beatriz. Thank Sulema. you. Suleima. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Suleima. Tatiana. Present. Welcome, Tatiana. Thank you. Eh, Nelson A. Omar, eh, Suleima Melgar, and Jose Rodrigo. Okay, so people I have not heard are um, Annie, Ana Maria, Hazel, Joanna. Hi, present. Hello, Joanna, welcome. Thank you. I also did not hear Sal, uh, Santiago, Linda, Marlene, Norma, Miguel, Rocio, Nelson A, Omar, Zulema Melgar, and Jose Rodrigo. Okay, all right, good. Uh, all right, class. Um, uh, when we are almost finished um, our course, so tell me, do you guys have any questions, anything that is difficult for you guys? that you want to ask about?
any topics that are not clear for you? About the platform, teacher. Mm -hmm. In the platform? What about the platform? Uh, maybe I, I'm some confused in the last part. You're confused in the last part, okay. Uh, what part of the last part? Like what exactly? Maybe with the definition about the about the bonding, maybe bonding. Bonding. Mm. Okay. Um, there is some vocabulary that we have not um, gotten into yet. Okay, so maybe that's like, we haven't seen some vocabulary. So that may uh, be part of it. Okay, so um, do you wanna wait to see if maybe uh, by the end of the class, maybe it's a little more, it's a little clearer for you? Would that be good? Yeah? Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so um, I'll ask at the end of the class and see if maybe, you know, things get a little bit clearer then, okay? All right, I don't want to waste any time. So I'm going to share. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. First of all, I have a doubt with teacher. Yeah. Because I already finished the test, but in the progress it appears as uh, I didn't do. I don't know if it is like normal, I don't know. Or he has to show that I already did. Sorry, I don't understand your question very well. Can you repeat the question? Because we can see our progress in the course. But I did all the, the activities and the test, the last test too. Uh -huh. But in the, I don't know, in the barra, the progreso, I guess. The progress bar? It looks like, uh -huh, it looks like I didn't do the test. Mm. Or maybe until the end, it will appear. Uh, the, you mean the final exam? Are you talking about the final I already, exam? I did. But you're talking about the final exam? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let me find out. Um, let, I, will, I will check during this class and I will tell you if I, from my part, can see it. Because that's what's okay. the most important part, right? That I can see it because that way I can report it. Okay? okay. And if okay, it appears, then I'll let you know. Okay? All yes. Right. Okay. Any other questions that you guys have? No? Okay. All right. So please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Can you see my PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. So today we're going to be looking at how to use expressions of clarity to clarify a point. Uh, we, your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. It's intermediate two, or sorry, June second, two thousand twenty-two. It's class number twenty-three. Okay. So yesterday, um, I, we, we were going to start doing this, right? But we realized that we didn't have very much time. So we're gonna start with that, with that activity first, okay? So I asked you guys to discuss in pairs these questions. Should a small business invest on raising brand awareness? And can you name a pair of strategies to increase the product's brand awareness? Two questions. After you've discussed these two questions, you can read the conversation. One, one, of you, one time you can be Cecilia, the other, the other time you can be Lucas. And then after you've done that, 
you're going to answer these three questions. Why is this cinnamon soda not so popular? What is an important step to consider when launching a new product? What is Lucas' uh, recommendation of the cinnamon soda to get more um, sales? Okay. Do we understand what we're going to be doing? Yes, yes, teacher. What, yes, what teacher. Meaning, what is the meaning for raising? Raising, increasing. Okay. Increasing awareness. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? Okay. All right. That's. I'm going to stop sharing, and I'm going to make the breakout rooms. Um. Okay. All right. Because this is a pretty long activity, I'm going to give you 15 minutes to do it. Okay. Here we go. Let's open the groups. Uh, Carolina, you can start moving into the other group. Okay. Uh, you, Cecilia. I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. It's delicious, but when I visit the fan page, I'm I'm sorry to interrupt. But did you discuss the first questions? Oh uh, no, you have, you have to. Then you you oh. start the conversation. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. No problem. Okay. okay. Describe different stages of a product. Index on rising black powder. Yes, ma'am. I think a uh, can be possible because many 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 companies uh, start as a as a, a smaller or a small brand or or a small business and now they are very big I think so I think it's possible. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Can you in for me is 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 to invest in in the rice in the brown is is positive or like Is can you name the parts or stages to increase our products? Uh, girls, did you discuss the, the questions at the beginning? Teacher, I did. 
I have didn't un did understand the question, but now I understand. And uh, no sé, solo le voy a consultar esto. Debería una empresa, una pequeña empresa, invertir como en la recaudación, así se entiende. En aumentar el conocimiento de la marca. Entiendo yo. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, should, should a small business invest on raising brand awareness? So, a small business, are they going to put their money into increasing the awareness of people about the brand? Does that make okay. sense? Yes, if they want to increase the business, I think they have to do it. Okay, we'll go, go ahead and discuss what you guys think. Okay, thank you. It's night. Will be a call to the sun. Yes, I, I think. Uh, they could could increase a program mm -hmm. uh, with the use of the social media and, and uh, maybe make an analyze analyze the the market the market yes um, the company have to hire hiring a professional in the marketing. Hire. In what question? Hmm? Okay. Uh, or we pass to the next part with the, the, the conversation. You want to start with I hear you. So bad. I don't hear you good. Um, if you want, uh, we can practice the conversation. Yes. Okay. Could you start? Um. I'm Celia and you, Lucas, it's okay? Yes. Okay, I'm start. I just discovered this new brand of, of cinnamon soda. It's, it's delicious, but when I visit, visit, um, what is the pronunciation? For this world, uh -huh. I visited their fine fish. I saw they only have 300 likes. I wonder why it isn't more popular. Uh, it's probably an unknown brand. Simple put, the owners of the brand are trying too hard to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you are right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, consumers are aware of this brand and their images and names in other words. This cinnamon soda 
you are talking about needs to make people recognize it to get higher sales and become more competitive. Mm -hmm. Okay. If, if you want to I, I start. Okay. I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. It's delicious, but when I visited their fan page, I saw that they only have 300 likes. I wonder why it isn't popular. It's probably an unknown brand. Simply put, the owners of the brand aren't trying too hard to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you are right. Every, everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, consumers are aware of this brand and the image and names. In other words, this cinnamon soda you are talking about needs to make people recognize it to get higher sales and become more competitive. Okay, now the question. The part three. Read the conversation again and answer the question. Why is mm -hmm. cinnamon soda not so popular? Why is cinnamon soda not so popular? Mm. This is the brand I'm trying too hard to play brand awareness or they proud. It is probably because mm -hmm. it's probably an unknown brand. Simple put the owners. It's probably an unknown brand. Yes, I think that is the. But uh, the next part, I think, is part of the, the answer. Mm -hmm. Simple put the owners of the brand aren't trying too hard to create brand awareness for the product. Mm. This is very important when launching a new product. The mm -hmm. owners aren't, aren't trying to uh, Then this is an um, answer to the number two. Let me read the number two. What is an important step to consider when launching a new product? Mm -hmm. uh, try to hard to create brand awareness of the product. Brand awareness product. Create brand awareness for their product. That's the answer. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. uh, I'm I wait to, to the answer. One moment, please. Um, the number one is why is cinnamon soda not so popular? Uh, because no cinnamon don't have a advertising on TV. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, they don't use the the social media. Mm -hmm. The next one, what is an important step? 
In the paragraph of Syria, in the third paragraph, Wait. she said, Sorry. In what? What? What do you say? In the third, third paragraph of Celia, she said, "Everyone knows about Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad, an ad for this new soda on TV." Yes, it's part of the, I, I think uh, put the awareness in the TV is create brand awareness for their product. Yes. Hello, teacher. Hello. Already finished. It's finished? Yes. Discuss the questions. Yeah. The, the ones from the beginning. The two? No, we only. Are... Oh, okay, so you have to do that then. Ah, okay. That's those two questions. But I don't know if Sulema can hear me. Suleyma. Hello, Suleyma. Suleyma, are you there? I guess she's not. Suleyma, are you there? Can you hear us? No? I think she's not there. Okay, well, I'm going to go and visit the other groups, make sure that they're finished, okay? Estoy tomando. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Finish. You finished? Yeah. Yes. Discussed uh, the questions at the beginning? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. And, and you read the conversation? Yeah. Yes. All teacher. All. All right. I'll see you in the main room. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Vaya, vaya. Ay, esos perritos. Hi, girls. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Our... I'm out of my house, so I write the the strategies on the chat, storytelling, personal advertising, and interaction on social media. We talked with Norma about this. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, and we also talked about the the if the small business should invest on the brand awareness. And we consider it's important to invest on raising brand awareness because they need to know what the brand tries to communicate to their customers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sounds uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you, got, you girls are ready then. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, I will see you in the main room in a moment, okay? Okay, okay, thank you. Be careful.
Correcta, o sea, o, o uh, uh, no, uh, no the advertising in, in uh, social media. In the correct way. In television, in uh, radio. Uh -huh. yes. they have, it says that they don't have an ad about it. So. Mm -hmm. We are a little confused because I don't understand if is uh, the answer literally uh, in the text or in or own words. Bueno, en el texto de hecho dice que no hay un anuncio sobre eso. Lucas lo dice. Podría, se podría poner eso literal como there is no a nada about the soda yeah, no mm -hmm. o se pone así como lack of uh, of advertisement the teacher is here right yes the teacher is here. Teacher, um, yes. Um, I little confused. Um, with the questions below the conversation, I don't know if I need to answer the question literally about um with words in the paragraph or in my own words my comprehension about the, the conversation. Mm. Because in the first paragraph, um, the first question is why cinnamon soda not so popular? Uh, but in the first um, paragraph, um, in the part this, um, I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. It's delicious, but when I visited the fan page, I saw they only have 300 likes. I wonder why it isn't more popular. It's in my own words about the text. No, no, or the answer is there. The answer is there. Okay. I okay. promise you the answer is there. Okay, it's, um, because uh, it's delicious, but when I visited their fan page, I saw they only have 300 likes. Mm -hmm. That is the answer. Mm -mm. The question is why? Why is it a cinnamon soda not so popular? What's the reason why? It I think uh, I am a okay. little bit confused because I think the answer of that is the owners of the brand aren't trying too hard to create brand awards for their product. But I don't know if the answer of the second one or if the answer of the first one. Yeah. Mm. I think it is in the first one. Um, I don't know if it's, um, I saw they only have 300 likes no. because after that, as she said, I wonder why it isn't more popular. Oh, no, so why? I don't know if, so if why, England... why, okay, so Celia noticed that the, that the cinnamon soda is not very popular. Yeah. Why? Why is it not popular? In my own words, I think um, they don't have a good advertising in social media, maybe. Could be. But, yeah, that could yeah. be. But the question is why, according to the conversation? The answer is there. Because mm -hmm. the owners of the brand are trying too hard to create brand awareness for the product. Or is the second one? I got confused with that. 
What does mm. Lucas say? Oh, that's my tent. What does Lucas say? Okay, we're going to return to the main room, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Yo más creo que sí. Okay. Y ahorita creo que es a teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Um, I'm going to bring everybody back, okay? Okay. okay Thank you. Thank you. Ah, pues sí, era un trabajo grupal. Sí. Sí, esos días es hoy, no bien noche del trabajo. Okay. All right, class. We are going to check the answers now. Okay, so the first thing um, I wanted you guys to do was to discuss the questions right at the beginning. Okay, can you guys see my PowerPoint? No yet, teacher. Yes. No, yes. <laughs> Okay, so the first question was, should a small business invest on raising brand awareness? In your opinion, what do you think? Should a small business invest in raising brand awareness? I consider yes, teacher, even if a small business, they have to, to know the, the market and make some kind of invest about the brand awareness okay good what else i think that it helps to increase the market share and establish customer loyalty so it's a good idea for me okay all right very good i like that customer loyalty mm -hmm. very good very good vocabulary there what else What else can you tell me? Nothing more? Okay. Can you name a pair of strategies to increase a product's brand awareness? Promotional giveaways maybe and influence some marketing. Okay, so uh, promotional giveaways, very good. Do you guys understand what promotional giveaways are? In a way, yeah. <laughs> what is a promotional it's, a, it's a good idea to share uh, some product in the social on social networks, and the the customers yeah. can interact with each other and with the brand. And I, I think <laughs> that's the main idea. Okay, okay, the, the, very good. And, uh, and to get more followers. Okay, all right, so that's a, that is a strategy. Very good, very, a very good strategy. But what about what, what, is, what is a giveaway? What is a product giveaway? Uh, teacher, uh, I think it's a, it's a way to increase the, fol the followers. Uh, in a social media because they promote promote uh, maybe a, a present by the, the, I don't know, it's, it's like when they give, give something for, with, with the, because they want to increase the, the maybe the followers something like that i i think is okay yes that, that that's the reason why they do it but what is it what is a what is a product giveaway i don't know if if it's a correct um word but what i think um a social media is things giveaway i don't know if it's correct 
but it's a, a, a I don't know what I say, sorteo. Un sorteo, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we, ca uh, we call it a, like a raffle. Okay. Mm -hmm. So wh what do you do with it? Like a contest. Ah, yes, yeah, very good. It's a contest. Uh -huh. And what, what happens if somebody wins? Get a prize. Mm -hmm. you get a prize, right? Yeah. So it's like a um, some sort of um, the winner. Yeah. Um, exactly. The winner gets a a, a prize. Um, usually, usually um, it has to do with the actual. Um, company, right? Like a product that has to do with the company, but not all the time, right? Okay, very good. Okay, any other strategies? A referral programs. Referral. Very know. good. Referral programs, right? So if you refer me a friend of yours, I can give you a discount. Mm -hmm. Right? Anything else? Any other? Any other strategies? Okay, all right, great. Let's go on to the next questions then. Okay, um, so what is, why, sorry, why is cinnamon soda not so popular? Because it's an unknown brand. Exactly, because it's an unknown brand, right? Right, so in other words, people don't know it. So it can't be popular because people don't know it. It's as simple as that, right? If, if people know it, if, some, if people know something, it can become popular, it has the potential to be popular. But if people don't know it, it's impossible for it to be popular, okay? Next question. What is an important step to consider when launching a new product? Create brand awareness for the product. Right. To create brand awareness for the product. That's important. So you can't um, you can't launch a new product if you know and expect it to do well if people don't know about it. Right? So you have to create that awareness of the product. What is Lucas' recommendation for the cinnamon soda to get more sales? Make people recognize it. Um, yeah, the, it needs um, needs to make people recognize it to get higher sales and become more competitive. Mm -hmm. Very good. There you go. Those were the answers. Okay. Very good. Um, now that we've done that, we got that out of the way. Give me a moment. Okay, so let's talk about clarifying a point. Sometimes we need to introduce clarification. What is clarification? Tell me in Spanish, what is clarification? Declaración. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that means that you you think you have the information, but you're not really sure. So you go back and you make sure that you have the information. Or it can um, also um, the explanation, right? So uh, what what the person explains, right? Or the exemplification. So what is the example of our, our ideas as we speak? Use in other words, that is to say, Sim, uh, simply put, etc., to make your point clearer to other to others. So, if you want to, 
make sure that whatever you're saying is clear for other people. You can use words like, in other words, right? So that's, that's a very good um, way to clarify. In other words, well that. In other words, that is, that is to say, simply put, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So those, those phrases, those, um, those expressions help us to be able to clarify a point, okay? Uh, for example, look at number one. Um, one way to, to help your target market like and trust you is to publish often through online channels. In other words, write a blog that informs and entertains and educates. So I am using the word in other words, or the expression better said, I'm using the expression in other words to clarify my point. What is my point? To establish, um, sorry, to, hold on, give me a moment. to help your target market like and trust you, okay? No, hold on, wait, wait, no, my mistake. Um, how, it, this is an example of how to publish off, often through the online, uh, online channels, right? So I'm giving more explanation, I'm clarifying the information so that everybody understands what I'm talking about, okay? Um, also, we have um, the other example, which is um, you can increase your rating as an expert and reach a broader market by developing a pro uh, podcast. That is to say, in parentheses, you don't have to say it, that is to say, you can just say that is, record your talks and allow your customers to download it. This one is more for, um, for explanation, right? Or, sorry, the exemplification. Right, so um, you will notice that I'm using that is to say. And my clarification is record your talks and allow customers to download it. Number three says today's customers are looking for guarantees. Simply put, exceptionally service that, that they after they have purchased your product. So you will notice that I'm using here sim to simply put, okay? And what is my, um, my clarification? The clarification is exceptional service that they have, they have purchased your product. Sorry, exceptional service after they have purchased your product, okay? And over here, the next one, we have um, another free marketing resources for your current internet cu customers is inviting them to participate in a social networking site, namely a Facebook group. Um, namely is also another expression. Namely is like, like basically giving an example, okay? And the example that I'm giving in this case is a Facebook group. And last one says, the ultimate marketing goal is to have your target market thinking, think of you. This means, or which means that you must focus on satisfying customers needs. So this is giving me um, a more clarification of what I mean. Okay. And what is it that I mean? I mean that you must focus on satisfying customers' needs. Okay, does that make sense? So we can use any one of these uh, words. We have in other words, that is to say, simply put, um, in other words, um, that is to say, simply put, namely, and you must. Oh. 
sorry guys, I made a mistake in the the color. So I'm doing this so you got don't com confuse. Okay. Any questions? No, teacher. No? Okay, so what we're gonna do now then is we're gonna do the activity, the, the exercise. So it's insert an expression to clarify a point in the following sentence. Add the necessary punctuation to join the clause and phrase together. So for example, it says number one, one way to increase the brand awareness is to gener generate online advertising. And then we put, simply put, social ne networking sites. Notice that we put the word simply put in there we have added it. Sim um, hold on. Simply put, we, we inserted in, in between the advertising and social, but we didn't just do that. It's not all we did. If you notice, we also use correct punctuation. What is the correct punctuation? Can you point to it? Can you identify what it is? What's the correct punctuation? The semicolon. Uh -huh. Not mm -hmm. semicolon, but yes. not semicolon, but Com? commas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So we have comma here and comma here. I want you to do this for number two, three, four, and five, but not just yet because I need to take attendance, okay? But do we understand what we're gonna be doing after the attendance? Just. It's pretty clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right. Okay, so I'm going to take attendance uh, once again. Um, give me a moment. Give me one second, guys. Okay. Um, all right. So we'll start with Annie. Present teacher. Okay. Very good. Ana Maria. Ana Maria. Okay. Um, Car Carolina. Carolina. Not here anymore. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, Emily. Present. Okay. Uh, Hazel. Present teacher. Okay. Very good. Um. Hi, present teacher Joanna. <laughs> okay, Joanna. <laughs> uh, Jorge. Present teacher. All right, very good. Karina? Present. Carla? Present. Santiago? Linda? Marlene? Nelson? Present. Present. No, oh, okay. Thank you, Marlene. All right, thank you, uh, Nelson. Norma? Present, teacher. Okay, Olga? Present. Uh, great, uh, Miguel? Present. Welcome, um, Rocio? Present. Great, uh, Beatrice? Present. Okay, um, Suleyma? Present. Okay, Tatiana? Present. 
Very good. Um, uh, Nelson A. Omar. Suleima Melgar. And Rodrigo. Jose Rodrigo. Okay. Very good. Sure. Present. Oh, okay. Great. Thank you. Sorry. All right. No problem. Um, we are going to then um, get to get get you guys back into your into your breakout rooms with your partner. And you're going to do what exactly what we said, right? We're going to try to figure out what words goes in, in what order. Okay. So um, I'm gonna give you about eight minutes, okay? There we go, let's open up the rooms. Ana María. The importance of brand awareness, mm -hmm. uh, brand recognition. It's a very important element of brand. In other words, the consumers knows that a particular we, exists. We can use another in other words. Brand recognition, yes. Brand recognition is a very brand recognition uh, is a very important element of brand awareness. Mm -hmm. In other words. The consumer knows okay. that a particular brand exists. Okay, and the punctuation? And the punctuation. Uh, Come and the at the beginning and the end and the end. At the beginning, I'm not sure, but at the end, I'm sure. He, Yes. At the beginning, I, I don't know. Uh, ah, yeah. Yes. No, it was. Yes. At the beginning. At and, the beginning. At the comma. In other words, the consumer knows that a particular brand exists. Mm -hmm. Number three, brand recognition. Brand a consumer is able to identify a certain product or service. Simple, simple put. Or simple pot. Simple pot, or which means or which means namely namely uh it's like a sample yeah brand connection is a very important element of brand awareness the consumers uh, uh, it's like an expression, an expression for clarifying the context of the. Uh -huh. Okay, so the last one. Uh, 
Oh, like you say, in other words, in, in a few words that simply put. Hmm. Yes. Um, you have published Okay. So the last one can be you have to publish high quality content. Mm. The ultimate you have to publish high quality content. Um, Mm, if we put that is okay. Right? Yes, that, um, oh. that is by creative. Which mm. means, which means, I think that which means can apply, but I don't know. You have to publish high quality contents, which means by creating valuable contents to be introduced to the new audience. What do you think, Miguel? Oh, that is. I no sé. Creo que está repetitivo si yo pongo which <laughs> uh, mm, Or this. 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 Um, Maybe can be which means. Pero ya cuando lo leo siento que está repetitivo. Uh -huh. Porque, o sea, te dice high quality content y luego dice que hay un valuable content. Entonces, como que pienso que sería, ahora que lo pienso, tal vez. Daris. Quedemos con yo, bueno, yo. Um, yo pienso que podría ser Daris. Oh. ¿Qué significa name? No, name ni lo usamos. Creo que eso no podría ser. Is there like a similar expression that is, which means in in that context? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Entonces, ¿con cuál nos quedamos? That is. What? Yes. Okay. I put it away. We are going to. See if it is okay or not. We finished, teacher. Okay, great. Um, I'll see you in the main room in a moment. I'm going to go see the, the other groups if they're finished. Okay. Thank you. Yes. It go to work. In the number two, in other words, mm -hmm. that recognition is a very important element of brand awareness. In other words, the consumer knows that a particular brand exists. Mm -hmm. Number three, brand recognition happens when a Consumer is able to identify certain products or service that is to say. Or that is not. to say. Uh -huh. Ese de ahí. That is to say. This brand. These brands have become well known. They they have replaced in other words. No. Y esas otras no se van a poner entonces. 
Pero... Namely, namely, y this which means. Ajá, this means or which means. Sí, porque está en el cuadro. Emily, Quizás ahí diría. Emily. Yes. I was looking for the example with Nagley and the sentence says another free marketing resource for your current internet customer is inviting, inviting them to participate in a social network, networking site, namely a Facebook group, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Namely, namely a Facebook group. Replace the comment for similar products in our language. They have publishing high quality content by. Are you girls finished or you still need a lot of time? More tight, teach. Hi, sorry. How much more time? Sleep. <laughs> eh, just five minutes. Be I'm a little bit confused about namely and which mean or this this means. I see. Teacher, we can use more than one. Um or is one per each sentence. Um, hold on, give me a moment, let's check. Um, I think you can, you, you might be able to use um, some of them more than once. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let me squish. This means. Usar. El qué? Todas las, las palabras. O sea, por ejemplo, aquí solo nos falta namely. Ajá, namely. Could be. I don't know. ¿Cómo crees que no pega ahí una imagen? En esa no. A menos que en, en, en number two sea name. Ajá, y en esa sería in other words. Y la última in other words. Uh -huh. Veamos así tal vez. Brand recognition it is a very important element of brand awareness. It is namely the consumer now. Ah, yes, yes, could be. Uh -huh. uh, namely. Yeah. Oh, yes. Only that, right? Only that. Mm, okay. You girls are ready, right? Yes. yes. 
Okay, great. I'll, I'm great. We're going to return to the main room. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to be checking the answers. See what you guys have come up with. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. All right. So it says in certain expression to clarify point in the following sentence, add the necessary punctuation uh, to join the clause and a phrase together. So I'm going to have different people help me. Um, I'm going to ask Norma to help me with the first one. Oops, sorry. Go ahead, Norma. We are ready to uh, number one. Um, yes, number one would be great. And one way to increase brand awareness is to generate online advertising in put social networking site. Oh, sorry. Number one has been done for you. Sorry. You're right. Okay. <laughs> So, yes. Uh, okay, so simply put, social network. Good. Okay, can you do action number two? Norma, could you, could you do number two? Okay. Since number one has. Yeah, I tried. Uh -huh. I tried. Uh, brand recognition is a very important ele element of brand awareness in other words. The consumer now that a particular brand exists. Okay, in other words, sure. Mm -hmm. mm. I put uh-huh. Sorry? I think there's um, internet connection problems. Hello? Okay. Um, yeah. So, in other words, okay. So we can put it in other words. And remember, what do we have to put uh, bef um, before and after in other words? A comma? Yeah. yeah. A comma. Not just a comma, but two commas, right? Okay, in other words, we'll show, no, sorry, in other words, consumer knows that a product brand exists. Okay. Good. All right. Um, next, we'll have 
Karina, please help us with number two. No, number three, sorry, Karina. Um, brand recognition happens when a consumer is able to identify a certain product or service that, that is by viewing the product logo. Very good. Excellent. And what do we put before and after? A comma. Very good. So. Okay. Very good. All right. Number four. Um, let's have um, Jorge. Number four, please. These brands have become well known. That means they have replaced the common terms terms for similar products in our language. With come at the beginning and at the end. Very good. That means. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. All right, and number five, uh, we'll have uh, Joanna, please help us with number five. You have to publish high quality content, which means creating value content to be introduced to new audience. Mm hmm okay sure mm -hmm. okay any questions uh, teacher for example in the number five we can use uh, to namely or not number five yes no. No. I have the same. I have the same question because I I was reading I was reading in the in the example when you namely and I think it's related with the name too. Right. Yeah. Um. It to like it's like saying to give a name. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, eh, like in Spanish, llamado, something like that. No. Mm -hmm. No. I, I think it is. Really? Actually, you know what? Which means does not actually, you know what? Forget about it. Number, this one actually uh, does not make sense if we put because it's by creating namely mm -mm. because in that sentence eh, after namely said a Facebook Facebook group. Mm -hmm. Giving us the name of the example. But I would strongly suggest something like making it bigger and saying, for example, um, that is to say, that is, so you have to publish high quality content, that is to say, uh, by creating valuable content to be introduced to news audiences. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah. 
the chair, uh, could be possible not just one word uh, mm -hmm. yeah. be, be correct for for that exercise yes but i wouldn't say namely though because namely it's like giving like the name of something and there you would not have it we don't have like the name of something yes or or other for example mm -hmm. yeah yeah other ones yes mm -hmm. for sure yeah uh, I I don't understand uh, why number four is that means. These brands have, have become well known. That means they have replaced the common term from similar products in our language. So I mean, uh, you're saying, it's like when you say in Spanish, eso significa, mm -hmm. eso significa que ellos han reemplazado Los términos comunes por productos similares en su propio idioma. Es que lo pregunto porque como no veo en ninguno de los in, in other words that is to say simple but no veo nameless uh, this which means no veo el that means entonces ahí me quedé como confundido. Mm, I don't understand. Es que, eh, o sea, arriba está el uso de in other words, that is to say, simple path, y luego abajo nameless, y está this which means. Eh, en la número cuatro dice that means, entonces esa, eso, eh, that me confundió. En la cuatro, porque es that, that means, eh, o no sería this means. Oh, yeah, you can say this means, or that means, or which ah. means, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's, it's the same thing. So I, I could say, um, this means, Okay. Or which... okay, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, good question. Okay, any other questions? Uh, teacher, in that case of, at the end of means is without comma or with comma? Um, yeah, the outcome actually on this one. Uh, also, uh, you, the, another thing is that you can put the word that or you can uh, omit it, it's up to you. Okay. So you could say also, um, which means that they have replaced the common terms or which means they have. So both of them are correct. Okay? Okay. All right. Any questions? Any other questions, guys? No. Okay. All right. Um, so we're going to I'm going we're going to go into the next activity which is looking at some vocabulary. Oops. Okay. Vocabulary. It says brand awareness is the ability of a customers um, to identify your brand by uh, sorry brand awareness is the ability of customers to identify your brand by its attributes or their qualities. The following are some uh, stages of brand awareness. Match the stages of brand awareness to their description, okay? So uh, we have brand recall, recognition, top of mind, brand dominance, unknown brand, okay? And we have the definitions here. You're gonna put them in the correct order. Sounds good? It's pretty clear? 
Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Good. Yes. All right. Let's. I'm actually going to switch partners. Um. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to open up the rooms right about now. Okay, bye. Okay, so the number one brand recall. Have you read? Let me share the. the screen okay Dominance brand dominance, I think, can be customer can recall any brands but yours for a particular product category. Okay. So that's the second one. Yes, five for top of mind. Top of mind, hmm. it's the number four, the first brand customer can think of for product category. Okay, so how many? I'm going to tell you. Five, four, three, two, one. And then recognition. Recognition. Ya le pegaron al niño. Ahí ando fregando que quiere. <risa> ok. Ok. Recognition. Customize. Ay, me perdí otra vez. Me perdí. Yo creo que recognition es de la suerte. Consumers can correctly identify a particular product just with a visual kit new. Yeah, I agree with you. So, the last, solo me queda uno. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, entonces la una es la tercera. Very cool. A consumer is able to recall the name. Okay, we finish. Listo. Yes, we finish. We finish, teacher. Okay, great. I'll check up on the other group. Okay. Okay. Only that. 
Name. Customer don't recognize Brown. Never not recognize the mark. Brown. Oh no. Brown. Brown. Yes. Missing. Customers can call any brand, but jewelers for a particular product category. Yes. Is yes. Is dom brand dominant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think we finished. Mm -hmm. I think we finished. Okay. 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 Uh, it's a to record in the menu as brand when I buy a product cut it out here. Uh, Because um, those was me, constant not brand customer can be a for a product category. Most of customer will not recognize your brand. Mm. I don't know if the number one is um, the third line. Hmm. Oh, but I, I think uh, Brajigal is not, could be in the, in the second line because they say customers can recall any brand? Mm. Okay, good. Oh. Oh, okay, so number three. No, so brand recall could be in the uh, three, I think. Yeah. A consumer is able to recall the name of the brand. Yes, that's it. Uh, I was saying the I see and uh, brand 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 dominance it's not make sense uh, brand second line brand customers can yours for a particular product category it's so confused I'm a little confused. Yeah. Mm. I see my power of it. The first brand customers can think for a product category. Consumers can no, I... Identify. Jorge, uh, Jorge, we... Huh? Oh? Just remember, it's category, not category. Category. Cat category. Yes. Category. 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 Okay. Category. Okay. Teacher, how do you pronounce correctly the word recognition <laughs> number the word number two recognition recognition Re recognition yes recognition yes ah, okay okay thank you you're welcome recognition 
Okay. Uh, I think we are. You're finished. I think You're finished? We have... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think. All right. I'll return you to the main room. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm um, no brand. Okay. Customers can. Okay, let's check the answers. Um, tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. So let's start with the brand uh, brand recall. And please, you open up your microphone. You don't. I don't have to um, call out on anybody in particular. You can open up your microphone. So brand recall. What would be the answer for brand recall? A consumer is able to recall the name. The name of a brand when given a product. Category. 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 Not category, category. it's category. Category. Yes, category. Category. Okay, good. Excellent. What is recall? This is um, remember. Consumer can correctly identify a particular product just with a visual cream. Right, okay, <laughs> identify or remember, very good, excellent. All right, recognition. Recognition is consumers can correctly ident identify a particular product just with a visual cue. Yes, sorry guys, I, I made a mistake when I was writing this. Number one. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. sorry about that. Okay, sorry. Okay, so recognition is? Yeah. Consumers can correctly identify a particular product just with a visual cue. Fair. Consumers can correctly identify a particular product just with a visual cue. Mm -hmm. What is cue? Um, like a... Um, a Feel. Huh? A clue? A clue? A tip? Okay. 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 How do you say cue in Spanish? Con pista. Una pista. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, top of mind. The first brand customers can think of or a product. A product category. 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 Yes, category. Okay. Yeah. So at the top of your mind, it means the first thing that comes to your mind. The first thing yeah. that you can think of. Okay. A brand dominance. Customer can can go any brand, any brand, but just for a particular product. Yes, very good. Uh, so, um, yeah, so um, customers can't recall; they can't remember any other brands, but yours for a particular category. And finally, a known brand? Right. Customers don't recognize your brand. Number five. 
unknown right. brand. Mm -hmm. Which is like the example of the of the other activity, sorry, the other um, product, which was the cinnamon pop, I think it was, right? People couldn't recognize it because there was no awareness of it. There's no, it was, it's an unknown brand. Okay. All right. So now that we understand those, uh, that vocabulary, let's start with this. Remember, what's at the top of your mind? What brands are, are top of mind for you, for your classmate? Right now, I want you to complete the chart with your own information. So this should be quick because this is at the top of your mind. That's the first brand that comes to your mind. Right now, uh, write down, what are examples of ice cream pro produced locally? Not internationally, not you know abroad, locally. Write down quickly, quickly. I'm getting, I'm getting okay. seconds. No, 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 Nevería. no, 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 no. Don't tell me. Write it In down. Prayers. Don't tell me. Write it down. Ah, okay, okay. 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 Just write it down quickly. The first thing that comes to your mind. Don't think about it too much. Okay. Thinking, Sarita. Don't don't share your answers because we're going to be interviewing a classmates. So the ideas. Are <laughs> okay, gonna, okay. Everybody's going to give their own ideas, but so. Okay. Next question. What's the name of a computer company identified by a particular fruit? Don't tell me the answer. Just write it down. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Next question. Can you explain what a Kleenex is? Apple. No, 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 don't, don't share answers. Just write it down. Mm. So can you explain what a Kleenex is? Write down your definition of a Kleenex. Don't share with the class, just write it down. Okay, and last question. What's your favorite movie theater? Don't tell me, write it down. Once again, don't tell me, just write it down. Okay, now that you have done that, now we're gonna go with the partners, same partners before. You're gonna ask your partner these questions and you're gonna write down your partner's answers. And you're gonna compare to see if the answers are the same or different, okay? Do we understand what we're doing? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes, yes. Okay. All right, here we go. Carolina, can you enter the groups? Can you explain what a Kleenex is? Yes, disposable. Oh. <laughs> what? Disposable towel. Yes, oh, I, yes, I put it's a tissue paper. 
because when oh, I, okay. I, I, I think of clean it, I only think I can, I don't know, como se dice sonarme la boca. Ni idea. Teacher, como se dice sonarse la boca. How do you say what? Sonarse los mocos. Uh, blow your nose. Blow your nose. Yes, okay. blow your nose. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, the last one. Mr. Chiquit. Okay. Okay. The last one was the movie theater work, right? Yeah, for me it's Cinemark. And I put Cinepolis, okay. Okay, so we finished. That was easy. Yes. <laughs> we finished, teacher. Great. All right. Uh, we'll talk about this in a moment, okay? Okay. Oh. What happened? No. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, great. I'll see you in the main room. Okay. Okay, you guys finished? Or did you need more time? Finish. We finish. Um, yeah? Yes. Okay. All right, so it's time for us to check then. Um, just give me a moment. Okay. Um, Tell me when you can see my PowerPoint. Yes? No? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. What are some examples of ice cream produced locally? Give me examples. Sarita. Sarita. Sin Rival. Huh? Boston. Boston is Sin Rival ice cream. Sin Ava, you know what? Sin Rival. Sin Rival. Sin Rival. The Mellow. Okay. Any other? Is Boston Salvadoran? El sin rival, ¿cuál es? El nombre, qué barbaridad. Es el sorbete artesanal bien rico. Ajá. Ajá. Yeah. En aquello, es como los sorbetes de carretón. Eso, los de carretón, sí. correcto. Yo, yo, yo pensé que sí. Los de carretón pueden ser. 
Una marca. No brand. That's a no brand. Ay, así, ¿a dónde he vivido? Que no conozco esa marca. Bueno, yeah, Tatiana, you are not. Qué barbaridad, no. Tatiana. No puede ser que no conoces sin rival. Qué barbaridad. No tienen, no tienen rival porque son ex únicos en San Sí, son artesanales, pero entienda, pues. Ah, pero no sabía que así les dicen el sin rival. No, <ríe> Eso era lo que no sabía. Es que donde, donde vivo, está, pues, no, no, así, no, pues, no, pues, yo así lo conozco, eso es de carretón, pero dijeron, no, oh, esta es nuestra marca. Yo, ah, bueno. I know that brand from Santana. Oh. Okay. Okay, thank you. I are from Santana. Yeah, I, for me, it's the first time I've never heard of that either. For me, okay. too. Okay, see, we're no, so don't worry, don't, don't feel bad, Tatiana, you're not the only one. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, all right. Um, what's the name of your computer company? What is a, the name of a computer company identified by a particular fruit? The brand Apple. Apple? Apple. Definitely. Hmm? Apple. 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 Macintosh, yes, as well. Macintosh. Yes. Can you explain what a Kleenex is? Paper towel. For me, it's a paper toilet. A paper what? Piece of paper. Paper. A paper. Paper. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. No, it's toilet paper. Yeah. Paper tissue. No, toilet paper is something else. Paper towel. Huh? Paper towel. No, paper towel is something else either. Paper towel. Napkin. Es es bueno, si se usa para eso, pues qué interesante, vean. Has money. Oh. No, me <laughs> rojo no, como papel de toalla. The <laughs> mm, paper no. towel. It's to, it, paper towel is used for something else. It's a fashion t shirt. A fashion. Fashion. Facial. For your face, yes. Facial. Oh. Yes. Maybe. Como? Okay. Facial, she says. It's a facial uh, paper towel. Okay. I don't know. Okay. What's your favorite movie theater? I don't cinema. like cinema. 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 El reforma. Cinema. Cinema. Okay. All right. My question is, I know, it's a bad My last question is, did you have the same answers with your partner? No. no? Similar. Huh? Similar. similar? Yeah, similar. Yeah. Similar. Similar. Uh -huh. Teacher, we had the uh -huh. same. Teacher, I don't like this the the cinema. You don't like the cinema? Why? No. No, no. Why? No me, no me gusta estar en eso oscuro. Okay. No le dio sentido. <laughs> Pegriloso. You, you have to be with somebody. <laughs> sí, les parece Carla. raro, pero yo no voy al cine. <laughs> okay. Okay. You have to be with somebody to make it make sense, right? <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Um, all right. So that's going to be all for today. I'm going to take attendance quickly. You can open up your microphone uh, when you hear your name and, um, you know, quickly close it so that we can uh, go by quickly, as quickly as possible. Okay. So I have Annie. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Ana Maria? 
Present, teacher. Very good. Uh, Carolina? Present. Very good. Uh, give me a moment. Okay, uh, Emily? Present teacher. Very good, Hazel? <laughs> present teacher. Good, uh, Joanna? Ay, no, present teacher. Okay, thank you, Jorge? Present teacher. Very good. Um, uh, Karina? Present. Great, Carla? Present teacher. Uh, great. Uh, uh, Santiago. Um, Linda. Linda. Marlene. Present. Nelson G. Present. Norma. Present. Olga. Miguel. Rocio. Suleyma. Present. Oh, okay. Very good. Uh, Beatrice. Present. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Suleyma. Milgar. Sorry, uh, Rodríguez, sorry. Suleyma Rodríguez. Present. Very good. Uh, Tatiana. Present. Uh, Nelson A. Omar. Suleyma. Jose Rodrigo. Okay. All right, guys, so that's going to be all for today. I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? So take care and uh, see you tomorrow. Don't forget to work on the platform. Okay, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Quiero salir mucho Quiero salir. Adiós, teacher. Good night. Good night, Carolina. I have a nice night, teacher. Thank you. You have a good night as well. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Jorge, any questions? Jorge? Questions? <laughs>